almost two years after actually starting this video, like a month less than two years, I'm finally gonna finish it. So, it's been rolling around in the back of my car for quite a while. As you can see, there's been some damage. Hang on. I came unglued. It kind of worked with the silver base coat, and when it flakes off, it just looks like some battle damage. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. So yeah, shouldn't let it roll around in my car, especially the way I drive. If you drive a Prius and you don't drive extremely aggressively, everybody's going to cut you off everywhere. Um, uh, yeah. So I think I've charged this battery one time, if even once, in the last two years. So that's pretty extraordinary. Let's fire off, like, the three rounds that I could find. It's now the CQB version. Still works good. I don't know how it hasn't fried. But, uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, so... This is the Walmart brand Nerf minigun thing. It's not actually Nerf. Um, that's what I used for the base. The very first video I deleted, so I made this intro instead. It's probably worse, which is fine. Um, yeah. After all the trials and tribulations of going through different power sources, finally found one that works really, really well and it didn't burn it up so great project this thing is so so stupid and i love it so so much and yes i am going to glue these back on i've just been lazy and haven't done it and I haven't been shooting my co-workers which needs to change they deserve it so sure enough six of those six times 1.5 if they're in a series nine volts this thing had to take apart because it was on the outside of this and I had to get this off in order to get in there so I can stick different batteries in there tried to take this dealio off usually things like this that are glued on you can just kind of squeeze and it'll break the glue but uh no dice um where was i going with this yeah so i got to take the whole thing apart but uh the good news is things like this are cheaply made as quickly as possible so they can make money on it um which means they're really easy to take apart usually except for the glue that's the only bad thing about things so far, it's pretty much exactly what I expected. I saw that that was like that, like I said. Um, the, I mean, the barrels don't look too bad. They're not round, but I mean, they look bad. They're less weird and oval than the other ones. Um, the Nerf one looks pretty cool, but I didn't want slam fire, and I didn't really want to have the mod that one. So that it was full auto. I figured this would be a lot easier. And uh, like, yeah, I don't know. This one just had more potential. So that drives the whole thing pretty easy. There's a little dealio there. What is that wheel for? Oh, that's part of the drive? Oh, feed the dealio. Cool. All right. This thing pops off if you want to do like real predator style and put a grip on the bottom or something. There's this trigger safety, which I think is hilarious. Safety, trigger. Yeah, uh, if it's not any extra work, I'll just take that out. But if it's work, I'm just going to leave it, because who cares? Uh, so far, not too shabby. The other bad news is this little glued thing holds the entire thing together. There's a screw clear down inside there from this direction that there's no way I'm going to be able to get. But you can only get to it once this green thing's off, and the only way to get to that is once this thing's off. There's screws up here. So yeah, that uh, we're cutting it off, I guess. Well, when I said cut off, what I apparently meant was rip it off the pliers very tediously. Um, also, there's this thing, which I thought 
It's like, man, does that maybe tell it when to fire or something? No, I was thinking way too hard. Hang on. Hang on. It just makes noise every time a barrel goes by, which I'm surprisingly okay with. So that'll stay, unless it annoys me later. Um, yeah, so in there's a little momentary switch, or kind of, yeah. Either way, uh, do not do any of this at home, forewarning. Don't do anything I do ever. It's probably a bad idea. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut those two little wires off, splice those together, no more safety. Yeah. Well, there's the guts of the beast here. There's our big drive wheel thing. There's a little clutch in there in case it gets jammed so it doesn't break everything, which is good. There's the little, I'm assuming it's a gearbox driven off of that, which probably also, actually now there's wires in there. Anyway, these drums, yeah, those are separate. Those drums are actually what power the thing and shoot the stuff. Uh, that's run off of that motor. And this whole thing I can yank out and use those two wires and hook up, I guess, two 9 volts because that's probably all I'm going to have laying around. If it fits, it ships, right? Alright, I think I'm out of 9 volts. I might have to go get some. Also, I found this, which will be... Actually, this is usually kind of gray or black. It might look good though. We we might do that anyway. I don't know. And I'm out of black spray paint apparently. I, I usually have like 50 shades of black. I have so much black spray paint. I can't find any. All I can find is all the weird stuff. So also need that. Also never paint any toy guns black. That's a terrible idea. This is the perfect size. And now the barrel's a bit longer, so it looks a little better. I'm just going to glue that on there after I get all the remnants out. And this thing, I use the lid, the very the very top lip of the lid. Not, well, like where the threads were. Come on, focus. Right there. That much. It's really tight, but I'm hoping it'll wear in or whatever. Uh, I'm going to grease it up and uh, hope it works better. But I think with that, I can get rid of that. I'm not gonna throw it away until I absolutely know. But I think we're I think we're on to something here. It's just ridiculous. I was putting a single nine volt in here to do just a baseline test and see if this works and which way everything spins, because I actually want to make it spin and feed the same direction as a real minigun. I know it's not even close, but whatever. Uh Two water bottles, gonna put a cap on those, paint it, and make it like the feeder delinker, kind of. And then another water, water bottle that was all super bent, actually vitamin water. And this was Essentia uh, water. Yeah, um, it was all super bent, so I got the lid of one of those little paint mix cups and the top of the water bottle. Stuffed it in there, glued it, and now it's mostly round. Good enough. This will be like the drive motor, kind of. Those are just going to get glued to the side and it'll look slightly better. Um, yeah, the real thing uses feed chute and stuff because a belt, just a raw belt, oh, it would probably hurt somebody or definitely jam. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? I connected that and the chute motors in there started spooling up. So that is not a safety. That is to spool up the firing motors. So I gotta put that back in or else they're gonna run all the time. Whoopsie. Good thing I was smart like I normally am and cut these long in case I needed to redo it. Oh wait, no I didn't. Yeah, always cut your wires so you have some length in case you need to go back or wire it or freaking whatever. Always make sure you have enough wire length. I didn't, cause I'm tough. So that was melted in there on purpose with the soldering iron. Plastic was melted over. When I took it apart, I bent it and it broke the internals when I put it back together. So then I'd take it apart again and adjust it and then rewire those and wrap them around and glue them and stuff with hot glue, which is kind of impressive. Don't ever touch that thing. 
don't look at it, don't even think about it, forget that thing exists completely, and just leave it alone. Ah. Alright, camera tipped over, we're good, we're good. Baseline test. Okay, that, that doesn't stand. But the belt's going the right way. The accuracy is not as terrible as I thought it would be. But uh, we, we got to work on that. I just realized that that thing and this thing are driven by the same motor in a bunch of gears. So if I wire it the other way to feed from the other direction, this little thing is not going to twist the right direction to shove the stuff into the firing motors. So, uh, yeah, it's feeding from this side. So I guess the whole minigun is going to be backwards. I'll put the feeder delinker thing over here, the other thing on the other side, even though it's backwards. And I got these wrong anyway. These are supposed to be in between the barrels because otherwise the flash would just come out of there. Yeah, whatever. It's going to look good, which is the main thing because it's a freaking Nerf gun. So, yeah, Nerf-ish gun. I cut off the base of that other tube thing, that one, with the clicky dealio in it. Put that back in and cut this paper, folded it, and put a few of those around for space. There's... I mean, there's like basically no resistance on this now. It's better than it was, which was pretty good, and it still really won't turn. If I turn it by hand, it'll spin real slow after I get it going. But uh, now we're doing this. It's going to fry it. There's no way around it. That's going to fry it. But hopefully it's glorious enough to justify this idiocy. Idiocy. I can't even say idiocy right. Killing me. All right. Let's see what happens. bogging down before because the motor couldn't turn it so that was pulling a lot more amps than it would have been so it was shooting a lot less far than it would have uh yeah um stop recording you're working for years that's actually not gonna be too shabby copious amounts of hot glue Plasticky thing from the barrel that I cut off. Rocket motor from the RPG thing. You know, once it's painted, it's it's not going to be terrible. Yeah, it's all right. Always do a pretty light dust coat first. I didn't sand this very well because I didn't want to. Um, but a dust coat helps your paint stick so much better. Let that get real nice and sticky before you do anything else. Or maybe even dry, I don't know. I'm a spray paint. Um, gold, also dust coat of silver. Try not to do that too heavy because their foam darts is just going to flake off. And I'm doing silver so that when it gets scratched, the black gets scratched off, there's silver underneath. Hopefully, which would be kind of cool. So far, not too shabby. The bullets are actually kind of gold. That's got a base coat of silver. This whole thing's got a base coat of silver. We got some wicked fisheye going on because I didn't clean it or anything. And I put too much paint on too fast. I should have let the dust coat dry a bit longer, but I'm impatient. So, but I mean, really? It's pretty good from all things considered. Not perfect, but not too shabby, right? So I hit the uh, feeder delinker and the flash suppressor dealio thing um, with some of the chrome, and then I hit it with the lens tinting stuff. 
So it had a little bit of a grayish color. It's a little speckly, but it's a lot better than it would have been with just black. And I hit it while they were, well, it was still kind of wet, so it kind of oozed into there and mixed a little bit better, I think. So yeah, you can definitely do better, and you definitely should do better. Yeah, I rushed it, and it's fine. It's fine. It actually looks great with the little belt and everything in there. That's awesome. And if you couldn't notice, I got... Actually, my girlfriend towed my truck up here for my birthday, so that was sweet. The rear gears... This is like the third time I've toasted the rear gears. Um, because I'm running giant tires on Toyota axles and the pinion only has seven teeth and stuff. So, yeah. Um... What are they doing? This was in storage. I mean, it still technically drove, but it was terrible. Um, so this thing, I've got the two 9 volts in it for 18 volts, but I realized that after looking, 9 volts have like a quarter of the voltage of double A's. So I have twice the voltage total, but only half the amperage, milliamps, milliamperage, whatever. So I still only have like half the power this thing normally has. So I'm either going to buy a bunch of nine volts from the dollar store or find a rechargeable battery on Amazon. That's super cheap or something and see if we can make it actually work. Cause right now it's just, it's still just pathetic and that's not what we're going for. This is what I was talking about. Still 18 volts, much more amperage. Uh, yeah, it works great. Let me, let me show you. Really sad that doesn't fit in there. That is, there goes the battery. That is considerably better. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I did catch a little whiff of fried electronics though, so... We'll, uh, we'll rock it till it burns up. All right, all right. So you can see I bought a voltage regulator thingy from Amazon for like six bucks. I hope it works. I don't have a lot of faith, but we'll see. And then this is a 22 volt LiPo for another RC plane project thing I'm doing that's also just insane. Um, yeah, hopefully it works. We'll find out. Well, let's see if it works. What? Well, that ain't right. Well, that was dumb. Why did I do that? See that? That says negative. And see that red one? Red one is usually positive in DC. So, how did I do that? It's color coded. Dumb. All right, let's try this again. There's a jet flying over so you can't hear anything. The lighting's bad. The angle's bad. It's going to be perfect for a YouTube video. Now it should be wired, right? Right there. With a deuce. Now there's like no power. killing me. Well, it said it could handle a fair amount of amps. I think it said like three, which should have been plenty. And it just ain't. So, uh, dang it. Plan C. All right. Another thing that you should probably never do is make a super janky LiPo connector like that. There's the new battery. Yeah, whole 30 bucks I didn't want to spend on this, but you know, we're here. We're committed now. Uh, this thing, I broke the capacitor off, taken off, and I'm going to try to convince my buddies, two guys at work, to run hydrogen kits, hydrogen peroxide, on their old 
giant vehicles that they just got. Um, and this only puts out three amps, which actually could be a good thing. So maybe the hydrogen kit won't blow up. I blew up mine at least three times, but it was worth it. Um, yeah, so see what happens, I guess. Last time it made it barely to the grass, and this time I don't feel like moving my car. So this is about the same spot. Oh, damn. Well, that smells like fried electronics. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna keep going as soon as I clear this jam somehow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. First jam. It's okay. Probably gonna jam instantly again. Yeah. This is so dumb. I love it. I just realized how much of a dork I am. I'm wearing camouflage pajama pants, playing with a Nerf minigun. My final impressions on the minigun here are, uh, it is absolutely fantastic. After taking it to work and shooting my coworkers and having my coworkers shoot my coworkers, uh, definitely worth it. Uh, yeah. No, no regrets. No regrets. Um, I left the little cover thing in my car and I don't feel like getting it. Um, shooting it in the garage is one thing. You're like, yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. But shooting it at your coworkers as they're running away in terror, oh, it's just something else. It's, it's priceless. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll shoot it again in the garage. Unfortunately, I can't shoot it well, I can't show videos of me shooting it at work because we have all kinds of stuff that they would be very unhappy um, if it made it to the internet and stuff like that is laying all over the place at my work. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, I can't video there, which sucks. Sorry. Um, I'll shoot the truck again in the garage. It's all rainy and stuff outside. Um, on a different note, over here, I was going to upgrade the spring in this thing. Hang on, is my address showing? Hold up. Eh, good enough. All right, one more video of this thing in its uh, half its glory, I guess. And we'll call it a day, eh? And, uh, yeah, after shooting my coworkers with it, they come screaming out of there. And they go pretty far. It is fantastic. But it does smell like burning electronics every time I shoot it, which is concerning. They're cool colors, a lot of them. It's a big old fish. 